What's up NASCAR 15 fans, David Land here after, spoiler alert, a victory at Kentucky. We are heading into Loudoun, New Hampshire for yet another race. I think this one's going to be a little bit tougher than Kentucky was, but who knows, we may fuel mileage our way into another victory. Speaking of that victory, we did pick up an extra associate sponsor, uh, Goodyear, for 11 races, uh, which is strange considering that they sponsor the tires provide the tires and yet they are still deciding to sponsor cars maybe they need good PR I have no idea but we've put their logo on the car in a couple of places so that is good drivers standings wise we're okay now we're up to 23rd in the points easily in the top 32 wins is going to help us significantly uh, solidify our, our standing in the chase uh, because of the fact that uh, uh, so many people have one win and it looks like the most wins, as you see, Brad Keselowski has actually taken over the points lead. Not like it really matters, but uh, there are so many people with one win, and there aren't so many people with two wins. So that's what's important uh, in terms of that. So let's take a look at the starting grid for the Loudoun, New Hampshire race and get this thing underway. So the starting grid, Kyle Busch will start from the pole with Jeff Gordon along the outside. Down the rest of the field, you can see a lot of the guys who are in points contention up near the front. A.J. Allmendinger, of course, very good on the flat. Uh, I guess short ovals, even though not a lot of people consider one miles to be short ovals. We qualified in 34th position, tying with Michael McDowell. Uh, for some reason, we didn't get the position on that one. And then down through the rest of the field with Josh Wise and Danica Patrick bringing up the rear. So 34th place is not a great starting position, but you know you kind of hope that maybe we'll be able to get lucky in this pack. It is definitely probably going to be a pack race, as it usually is in NASCAR 15. So let's send it over to Daryl and Mike and get us started. Hi everyone, Mike Joy and Daryl Walter welcoming you to Loudoun, New Hampshire for the Lennox Industrial Tools 301. Mike, this is a one mile race. It's got a very narrow groove. It's hard to pass. You know how you pass here, Mike? A little bump and run. When Bob Bear bought this place, it was a sleepy little mile point six road course, an eighth mile oval and drag strip. And he's turned it into a super speedway that all New England is proud of, and over 90,000 come every race to pack this place and watch NASCAR's best. Who will be best on the Magic Mile today? of things I don't care what you say uh, you can fight me on this I don't care a one mile oval is not a super speedway you can't convince me of that number two was that the Blue Angels anyway Miami, Miami, here we go, Let's oh, go racing in the Granite State, boys and girls well we're racing in New Hampshire regardless of Daryl Waltrip's uh, insistence on boogity and you can just see all of the cars going up the hill there at the start of the race. Done, they actually gained some positions, and now we have it. Well, I made a great move down to the inside, but it turns out I loosened the car up just a little too much. Can't run down there, and a big crash to start the race. What a surprise. Smart, here we go. Well, I really tore the car up. Uh, that's unfortunate. We're going to have to repair it. And I added a little bit more wedge to the car from what I think it had in it. I'm not sure. I may have forgotten to apply my setup, so this could be ugly. Yeah, buddy. That's always like said, a, a great really glitch in NASCAR 15 everybody. when they take your setup away from you. So I don't Let's really know what I've got under me as uh, we're about to get back to the green. Not too bad a wheel spin, though. Come on, let's do this now. It's time to go Seems to work. we're able to get pretty good traction on these restarts, which may come in handy later on in the race. So, get the car down to the corner. Trying to do what we did last time. And now the car is way too tight. Because for whatever reason, the game wanted to put all of the wedge into the car. But as you can see, we almost lost it off of the corner. That's kind of strange, but whatever. Okay. And people were mad at me for breaking in the middle of the corner in the last video, or the NASCAR Heat video. To which I say, it's called trail breaking. Look it up. It's a real thing. And you can do it. Oh, he breaks in the middle of the corner. Yeah, of course they break in the middle of the corner, because otherwise you get run over by the AI. Because the AI have way more grip than you do. Maybe you stop running on 20% difficulty you and, and you would understand that. But anyway, we'll continue here on 100% difficulty as uh, the uh, AI try to crash with each other and we just go all the way out to the wall. 
I wish I could have gotten a better run there. Otherwise, we would have been able to actually gain some position. So we're just going to lock the brakes up because that was what I was doing in qualifying. That seemed to be fairly effective. But now the car is just stupid tight for no reason, which is a little bit annoying. Actually, it's a lot annoying, but whatever. So we lock up the brakes once again. Car just completely understeering the whole way around and then loose on exit which is just the best, com it, that is the combination for the fastest speed possible, let me tell you. Because when you can't get the car in the corner, and you can't get it off of the corner, there's nothing but speed to come from that. How about we back the corner up, I guess. See if that works. Nope, the car is still just staying. I don't want to turn. Well, I guess we can kind of run a high line okay, off of the go. corner. So Step I guess that's a thing. Alright, just clutch in. Clutch out. That's a little better. Watch the car. It's going to step out on the exit. Maybe not. Uh, it didn't step out because I decided not to just crank the wheel all the way down. Alright, brake all the way back here. Go under the yellow line. We use the old NASCAR heat cheater line. That didn't work. That was actually First way worse than anything I've done previously. So since we last spoke, I more, went buddy. into Come super on, fuel go. conservation mode. And now I'm, I'm about to lose a lap. But if I've done this correctly, and now I've started actually uh, picking up the pace a little bit because I don't want to lose a legitimate lap. If I've done this correctly, Just I might actually be able to make up all this time I'm losing. So we're going to try it as hard as we can here to stay on the stay lead on the lap. Car approaching yeah, low. And that was about You're as hard as I could try. Come on, well, man. Keep fighting. Yeah, we're going to keep fighting high. as there's cars in the pit, we're so really good, buddy. we just managed to lap. lose our lap just as everybody started pitting. So I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing, but we will be able Watch to improve the car on the next stop. Clear up top. As we almost lose it, Kane almost spun us out. And here come the pit the stops from the leaders. We've still got here. plenty of fuel in on board. Right there. So we just gotta get back on the lead. Well, we're not on the lead lap because Harvick's gonna stay really out good. as well. On, man. And there goes Kenseth down the inside. Go up high. He's charging. Everybody's trying to go underneath. You're clear. Boy, I can't wait for some fresh tires and some wedge. That's going to be a very nice thing to have here in a few laps. But again, we've got a long way we can stay out, and Kane is going to continue to stay out. So clearly he thought we, he was racing us. Come on, man. Keep that momentum. Keep that momentum. As okay, we move all the way up him. to eighth position. Still got a few cars ahead of us because of the pit stop cycle. But we can make it quite a few more laps on the fuel. Car in front's heading to the pit. Which is a good thing. And you would hope that the tires will hold up for that long as well. And it looks like they will. So off of turn four. We're going to move probably up to second here. Yep, just behind Kane. So now we're going to try to make up this lap on Kane. And I might go right sides only on this stop, just to try to make it a shorter pit stop, save some time. So I don't really think the left sides are that bad and we'll probably get a yellow before the end of the race. So we're going to pick up the lead from Kane here. That's a good thing. You know McMurray is now four seconds behind. But again, uh, if we can end up at the end of this race being in this position by shaving a pit stop off, we're going to look really smart, aren't we? So, still able to stay out. No, I'm not going to peel out here today. off into the pits yet. Absolutely no reason to at this moment in time. And the car is just working. It's actually working better now than it seems to have had, seems to have worked earlier on. 
when I was trying to save fuel. So it's kind of funny how the car has come back to me. So we just work off of turn number four once again. Across the line. Still good on fuel. Probably can make it at least one more lap. And then we'll peel off into the pits and keep working this alternate strategy. strategy excuse me. It's possible I may, might be able to make this race in one stop. Be a bit of a stretch, but it's a theoretical possibility. And if that's the case, we might see three or four stops from the uh, rest of the field. So we'll see what uh, what the uh, fuel is like. I think we can make it one more one more lap around. We really only have to make it a half a lap. Gauge, buddy. That'll tell you how many laps we've got. From here, eh, it's too close. Not gonna chance it. Gonna kick the clutch in. Say hi. Get the car woed down as we get past for position, and then into the pits we go. Ready. Okay, decided to go with four tires on this stop because I think we're only going to need a splash at the end of this thing and there's no reason to take tires in that situation. Adding tape to the grill, taking Wedge out of the car and we'll be back out there in just a hot second as we go a lap down but that's uh, to be expected with the strategy that we are employing here. Way to go here. boys, nice pit. Okay, it's time to push that pace now buddy. Stay focused, we can do this. Back out onto the track You're to go, but we down. are in traffic. Time to shine now, buddy. Let's go. We gotta go to work now. So let's we see what we work. can do here with our revised setup. Let him pass. And we'll not Point let him pass. Side. Not without a fight. Oh yes, and the car feels much better this, on this run here. So hopefully we can start making some positions up. You made up four tenths on the guy in front. Make a Far big move down to the inside of Labani. And hopefully get around right him. Low. Well, get him into the wall. We did get around him. So now, up to Burton, hopefully. So we get the car. Woed down. Let him go on around, buddy. For three and four. No, I Clear will not. Right I'm going to argue with the spotter the whole time, if I have to. They're waving halfway. Come on, let's do this. All right, midway point of the race, as you hear. So I'm just going to go hard now. I'm just kind of going to assume that we're going to need to make another pit stop. A splash of gas will get us to the end. Probably what I would imagine, no problem. So every position here on the track matters. Because essentially, what I'm doing is racing for position, despite the fact that I'm a lap down, because of the fact that we're going to make one, you know, one to one and a half less pit stops. Depending on if they have to pit twice more. On the inside. Let him pass. We get split right three clear. wide there. And we're gonna make it three right wide down the back straight away underneath Cole Witt. The side. Oh, on the brakes hard there. One outside. And then use mirrors up just a little bit. There we go. Far inside, trying to get to your corner. Watch your rear. That was close with Truex. Hell. Caution is out. Of course. And I lost it with Truex there, and let's see what happened. Yeah, I came up to back up the track, and my fault, my mistake. Wow, look at the game lag. Good programming. The, the crash was light. No, da well, I say no damage. Uh, that's a lot of damage right there. But uh, we got back on the lead lap, as you heard. We got a wave around. So, Come on, oh, man. eyes on the prize. All right. Let's do this now. We're under caution here. Yeah, I don't know. I. I was not expecting wheel spin because I hadn't got the last two starts and it happened. Take two. Alright. Outside the doji doge. Car looks completely terrible. But we're not last anymore, which is cool. Alright, here we go. You're doing it today. And just deciding to fight it's with the dog clear. for no reason. Somebody call Michael Vick. Here now we go. 2004 reference, everybody. Oh boy, okay, into the corner we go. Oh, oh you... three seconds. And Whoa, we've been wrecked by Gordon. Out. Go into caution. Go into oh caution. boy, it's gonna be one of those races, isn't it? Isn't it? Yep, uh, we wrecked Kane and then Gordon decided to finish the job. Alright, 39. Mercifully we're starting on the inside of the race uh, track this time. And we're gonna see what we can do here. The green's gonna come out. Looking low. All right, we're gonna. Oh boy, 
Uh, yep, that happened. That really happened. At least my sponsor's got some good TV time. Wait. Screw it, let's throw some tires and fuel in this thing and go to the end. Hopefully we can capitalize on some people pitting at the end of the race and maybe even uh, make up some spots. Nice all right. pit stop right there. Dead last. Like We're doing great, buddy. Here we go. Pit stop's gonna make all the difference. 20 to go, or 19 to go, really. He'll start the tail of the field. Yes, yes, we know. Nobody's gonna pull over and make it easy for us today. All right, good go restart. Finally. And let's see what we can do here in turn one. First is leading by three seconds. Allgaier decided to break super early. And we're just going to go forward wide, put everybody thing. in the wall. Everybody good. in the wall. You yellow, go in the wall. What the? Oh, God, really? The most NASCAR yellow of all time. You've seen it. Please let's go out. again. Let's go again. Get a great finish. Here we go. Ready to restart again. Of course, I didn't get a good traction that time. Go down low. So we're just kind of in the pack here, in the grouping. As we get into Regan Smith once again, watch him bring out another yellow. Oops, okay. Chase Elliott and Danica Patrick. Half of the merchandise sales from Dale that isn't Dale Jr. is right there that we just ran into. And Jimmy Johnson, very unhappy that I was mean to Chase Our Elliott. He talked about his merchandise Our sales. Where are your merchandise sales, Jimmy? Here we go. Three wide on the outside. I'd like to be on the inside, so I'm going to just... Oh, for love Our of God. Top. All guy, really? And Stenhouse. And just use them as a the leader is four turning tool. In We're all on the wall. Okay, that didn't work out particularly well. And here come cars into the pits. So this may cause some chaos. Exactly who is coming into the pits. Looking low. Having the faintest clue. Nobody came in that time. So clearly the spotter was lying to me. Well, we're going to fight with Allgaier here. We've had a, a battle. We're going to continue to have a battle. I'm not going to give up this position. Let's go to work now, buddy. Come on. We are going to race for 43rd as we both get into the wall. Because why not wreck the car for 43rd? And here comes the absolute craziness that is cars pitting in NASCAR 15. Too bad I wasn't in any position to capitalize on that because it looked like the pack really got packed up there. Maybe they'll wreck and take a few guys out. Oh, here comes all guy to the outside. Going to make a dirty move. Boom, into the wall. <laughs> into the wall we go. Still Our keeping ahead of Allgaier, though. This is the most intense Our battle for 43rd I've ever seen in my life. Car up top, one back. Actually, it's not for 43rd anymore because there's so many cars pitting. But whatever. The strategy is working. We're up to 35th. We're almost to our qualified position at 34th. Too bad. We've got Coming 13 low. laps to go. Got to keep Allgaier behind Check us. Your outside. This could end up being the race of the win. You never know. Oh, boy. Oh, he put him in. <laughs> oh. oh, that was exactly what we didn't need to do. All right, so the battle with Allgaier got ugly. It got really ugly. Allgaier got in the wall. He wall glitched. He took me with him. The game is lagging. It's chaos. Okay, well, you know you everybody do, and the brother pitted under that day. yellow. We so we're now 26th with 10 laps to go. But we're probably going to lose a lot of positions here, I would guess. And we're green. I tried to take Allgaier with me again. Most of the leaders seconds. are back here. Or the guys who were leading the race. I've got the shift. That's going to be make things a bit difficult. Check your inside. As you could well imagine. Watch your inside. And they're just four Car wide the whole way through. It is absolutely right. a play race. There is a huge Car wreck. An absolutely massive crash. And we avoided it, kind of. No, we didn't. <laughs> And as you can see, J.J. Yealy was a part of that. Danica Patrick was a part of that. It was Greg Biffle making an incredible move that didn't actually pay off. And just everybody piles in a massive crash on the backstretch at New Hampshire. All right, yeah, restart in 24. We make this happen. We've got nine laps to go. My car's looking even worse after that crash. And it looks like maybe Blaney's leading this thing. 
Everybody's gonna make it easy for Indeed, us today, it is buddy. Blaney leading. The leader is four seconds in front. But I suspect we're gonna have some more shenanigans here on this restart. As once again we've got fast guys coming from the back. And slow guys on old Pulling tires. So we're waiting outside. for shenanigans off of turn two. Closing Are we gonna the be the shenanigans? No, we're not. But as you can see, they're well, door we're four wide. I was going to point out the four wide on behind us, but as it turns looking out, low. we were part of the problem. Inside, just looking. And still four Far wide, inside. four wide all through the field. There is a car coming into the pits. Closing on the bottom. Why did you not pit under the yellow, Jeff? Gordon? I will never low. understand that. Coming low. And we're all the way back to 39th. Well, we're not going to let Allgaier through. That is for sure, certain sure. One back, coming high. We just try to keep Allgaier behind us. Oh no, oh boy. He's charging. Screw yellow you, all guy. Yellow, yellow, yellow. That's what you get. Have at it, boys. This is, why was the smoke ahead of the car? That was weird. Okay. I wonder if I hit a porta potty. Reference. We're staying out. And we finally got the inside line on one of these restarts. God almighty, my car looks terrible. That is the face of a man that has been punched in the face repeatedly. Here we go. Great, man. Got a car closing on your outside. So Green is back out. We're taking Looking Almondinger outside. all the way down to the wall. Outside. And now the 38 of go Gilliland low, go low. is trying to pass me. Johnson gets into the back of me. We're five wide. Because that's Rolling a thing. Oh, for the love of God. We're around. Yeah, out. Roll out of the throttle, buddy. And that's not a surprise, is it? So we get punted by everybody and their brother finally lose it just off of the corner and back her into the wall I'm actually kinda of surprised that brought out a yellow but uh, whatever here we go ready to start this uh, once again Car up top, I didn't spin looking. that time so that's good outside, only got four laps door. to go now as Dale Earnhardt Jr. was very down. poor on the restart. Carl Hello. Edwards is making a big move down the inside. We're going to just absolutely vomit in. And what is Junior doing? Holy cow. On the is leading by three seconds. And somehow they didn't wreck coming off of two, or off of four, or, yeah, off of two. Surprised they didn't. We're trying to wreck Kyle Busch. And Almendinger almost Close wrecked there. He was down on the inside. And they are still four wide all the way through the pack. We were stone dead last, so all the sponsors are going to be mad at us. Which is going to be Before wonderful. But hey, maybe maybe something will happen here in this corner as we get down on the cheater line, which doesn't really work on this game. It actually works to run in the groove. What a what a novel concept. As it looks like Brad Keselowski, who just recently took over the points lead, as in the last race, may be cruising to victory, and we may be cruising to last at this point. Unless we get extremely lucky with Ready to go. car peeling off into the pits here at the end. Maybe the game game usually mercy kills people at the end. I heard saw some smoke up front. And there's some more smoke, but no cars are crashing and bashing into each other. Well, maybe they're bashing into each other, but they're not crashing. If that makes sense. Still, still three wide. I, I do not know how this has not caused an absolutely massive pileup yet. But, uh... Well, well, Truex is taking the lead. This is true to life, I suppose. As Truex won just last night in the uh, Monster Energy Cup Series. Which I keep forgetting is the title sponsor. So, really effective title sponsorship when nobody can remember that uh, it's Monster Energy. White is out. Final lap. Yep, so White Flag is out. Truex is leading. I'm just hoping for a crash at this point, Come on, buddy. and then we can move money. on to Indianapolis because that uh, the old Loudon setup ain't ain't too good there, folks. I'm glad we go to this racetrack twice a year. Isn't that wonderful? Why don't they replace it with Vegas or something? I think well, Vegas is a real racetrack, ahead. isn't it? Checkered flag. Um, and Martin Truex has won. The birds are singing. Everybody's happy, and we're gonna spin across the line. Just one of those days, buddy. Don't worry. So that was a thing that happened. 43rd 
And those people who get mad in the comments and yet continue to watch all the races will have a field day with this one. True X1, Keselowski second, Biffle third. That was Loudon. I hope Indy is better uh, because our points definitely suffered after this race. So it's the next race back home again in Indiana. We'll see you there. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube, and we'll see you in the next video.